NFL players' helmets off is brought to you by EA Sports Madden NFL 09, the first sports game that adapts to you in stores now. Reebok, the authentic outfitter of the NFL. NFLplayers.com. Follow NFL player fantasy football all season long. NFL players were at the top of their game, but even the best had to start somewhere. Here are some of their first football memories. Cincinnati Bengals, uh, the Icky Shuffle. I used to love the Icky Shuffle. Fifth grade at the Boys and Girls Club out of Tacoma, Washington. That's when I got my first helmet, my first set of pads. I was 75 pounds, and uh, the weight limit was 74 pounds, and so I couldn't play the game. Super Bowl 18, I was in third grade. My dad was playing for the Los Angeles Raiders. Uh, they played against the Washington Redskins in, uh, in the Super Bowl. My dad blocked an extra point. So uh, I'll never forget it. It was awesome. I jumped whatever row I was sitting in. I jumped up, and I landed like four rows down. I started playing football when I was in middle school. And I remember uh, having a, a punt return for a touchdown. And that was the first time that I said, I, I think I can play this game for a long time. My first Pop Warner game, I scored five touchdowns, and we lost. And I just remember crying, crying. They wanted me to play um, Lions since I was so big, but um, we got out there and he let everybody race and run. And I, and I beat everybody in running, so he let me get the ball, and I just remember nobody being able to tackle me any time I got the ball. The first time I really got sad was, was the NFC Championship game when San Francisco beat Dallas uh, on Dwight Clark's last catch, I remember taking my little cowboy helmet off and walking upstairs and crying myself to sleep. I had a coach in middle school when I started playing in the seventh grade, and he pushed and pushed and pushed, and my cousin and myself used to be in the back of the line with first-year players, and we constantly asked each other every day, are you going to quit? And he would ask me, am I going to quit? I was playing in like a peewee team, and we had to make weight to, to carry the ball, you know, and I was playing fullback, and so I remember like the night before, like having to run to lose weight because I was so passionate, I wanted to be able to play in the game. Running back Maurice Jones-Drew is a rising young star in the NFL. And when he's not busy thrilling Jacksonville fans with highlight reel runs, he enjoys relaxing at his hometown of Antioch, California. Take a look. This is Philip, and the big brother is Duke. A lot of people, I guess you think uh, they get money and they want to change. As you can see, I kind of live just a regular life. Sit, lay down, roll over. There it is! Awesome! When I'm here, I rarely talk about football. I just relax, play with the dogs, work out. Yo, yo, yo. We're here to get ran to the ground, pretty much pulling sleds, and a little bit of competition won't hurt. Go! Go! That's a jump! That's a jump! Mark my words. Me and this guy here, we're gonna win it all. You know it. We're gonna win it all. We're about to go to the weight room. That's just part one of the workout plan. My trainer's name is Mike Blasquez, and I met him uh, my freshman year at De La Salle. He was one of the guys that kind of took me under his wing and uh, taught me how to work hard, how to lift weights, how to run right how to be explosive. So throughout high school, I had him in my senior year. When I graduated, he came to Cal. I went to UCLA. And you know, ever since then, we've been doing great. This exercise here allows you to knock 270 pound all pro linebackers on their butts. Five, eight. I'm about to try to, I'm trying to do it big for you. Velocity. Yeah, it's all about velocity. If I need to get faster, I get faster. If I need to get stronger, I get stronger. And definitely it's working. Good job. I will Enjoy see you it. tomorrow, 9.30. Have a day. Obviously, I love UCLA to the fullest. No one can pretty much top that school. And right now, Jacksonville is the best football team in the NFL. But when it comes down to it, you know, when everybody talks about high school, all I do is pop in a tape, you know, and Spartans for life. So I'm about to go stop in a couple classrooms and interrupt them. Hey. <laughs> How you been? Good. How you been? All right, man. How are you? I love See? this guy. I love Look this guy. at this. <laughs> Mr. Tammany. Maurice. No, 
Now this guy here is classic, classic guy. This is Mr. Oschlager, sophomore, junior, English teacher. This is Miss Sarver. You wanna see a picture of him in high school? There it is. This class was Miss Ress. She's not here anymore, but uh, she was a chemistry teacher. I got to be in that class. That's why I wanted to be an astronaut. I kind of figured, hey, you know, I can do those things. So how's it been going? Good. Good. So you're having great success. Having a great time. Keep yourself healthy. Trying to. Good. All right, let's run. The bell just rang. You're going to get rushed. All right, we just got finished interrupting all the classrooms. You got to see all my teachers' greatness at De La Salle. You guys just witness it. I can't say too much more about it. Send your kids here if they want to be great. That's all I can tell you. See you guys later. Next on NFL Players Helmets Off, Amani takes an emotional journey that links the past with the present. Stick around. For inside access to your favorite NFL players, plus exclusive interviews and the players' own video blogs, log on to NFLplayers.com. And check out FoxSports.com throughout the season to follow all the trades, acquisitions, wins, and losses for NFL Players Fantasy 08.